In this video, we're going to introduce how to use GPT to perform simple machine learning tasks. To harness the power of GPT, we need to obtain an API key from OpenAI. We can go to OpenAI's official website to request an API key. This is the official website of OpenAI platform.openai.com Once you are on the website, you can create an account and then log in. I already have an account and you can see from here, I already logged in. To obtain an API key, we can simply click on our profile button here and then move down to view API keys. Here I already have an API key. If you do not have an API key and you'd like to create one, then just click create new secret key. You can name your key. Here I'll just name it as this is the uh, secret key and uh, you can copy and paste it to somewhere in case you need it later and you don't want to log into your account to find it uh, since I have no intention to use this test key I'll just delete it here The machine learning task we're going to attempt today is about topic modeling. We will ask GPT to help us perform LDA topic modeling. The textual input is the CEO's prepared remark in earnings conference calls. You can download earnings conference call transcript of any company you're interested in. And we'll try asking GPT to classify the remark into an appropriate number of topics. We'll also ask GPT to report the topics, their weight in the CEO's prepared remark, and the top five frequent words in each topic. There are different ways to interact with OpenAI API. You can interact with the API through HTTP request from any language. Here we're going to use Python. In order to use Python, uh, we need to install the official Python bindings. And we do that by running this command in the console window, pip install openai. Once it's installed, we can import OpenAI module and tell OpenAI our API key. Next, we can make an API call for uh, language models. Chat models take a series of messages as inputs and then return a model generated message as output. The main input is the messages parameter. Messages must be an array of message objects where each object has a role. And the role could be system or user or assistant. And uh, the input also include the content. Typically a conversation has a system message first and followed by alternating users or assistant messages. The system message helps set the behavior of the assistant. In this example, we're going to tell GPT, uh, GPT is a helpful research assistant who wants to classify the earnings conference call transcript into an appropriate number of topics. The user message provide the actual instruction. Here I say, a reader following on this conference call transcript, then apply LDA model to determine an appropriate number of topics in the earnings conference call. 
and their weight, reported topics, their weight, and top five frequent words in each topic. The earnings conference call transcript follows. Here I use the CEO remark in Microsoft first quarter 2023 earnings conference call. In Python, the reply from GPT can be extracted in this way. Now let me call the API and extract the response. So here is the response. It's a little small here, so let me copy and paste it to uh, Word so we can look at it more carefully. Here is the GPT response without any editing or polishing. GPT said, after applying the LDA model to the Game Learnings Conference call transcript, we can identify three topics and their ways as follows. Topic one, Apple products and the service, the weight is uh, 0.589. The second topic is financial results and the challenges and the weight is 0 0.271. The third topic is corporate values and the social responsibilities whose weight is 0 0.140. The top five frequent words in topic one, Apple's products and services, are revenue, products, services, iPhone, and Apple. The top five frequent words in the second topic, financial results and challenges, are quarter, challenges, revenue, currency, and year over year. And we can also see the top frequent words in topic three, their environment, carbon, renewable, materials, and energy. How do you like GPT's performance? Do you think the classification of topics and the top five frequent words make sense?